I am making stuffed cabbage with curry coconut milk and chickpeas. Ooh. I know. Wow. And to Yum. save on time, you're all gonna help me cook. Do you love that? Oh, yeah. Yes. Time is money, so we are gonna save that too. Amen. Yes. So you are actually gonna. So if you have the filling cooled in front of you, and I'm just gonna go through how I made it. You're gonna line up two cabbage leaves, put about a half a cup of filling in the center, and fold and roll nice and tight like a like a French sort of adjacent burrito type okay. thing. For the sauce, I am just gonna literally mix about half a large can of tomatoes with a can of unsweetened coconut milk and some curry powder. And I'm just gonna let that simmer on the stove. And now that's what should just I gonna do? be should our I help sauce. Out? I do see a tool, so, so I'll be you, using it. So you are gonna, first of all, I'm gonna need you to chop cilantro. Okay. But second of all, more importantly, I'm gonna take a few of these outer leaves, the kind of sturdier ones. Those are the ones we cut off first. Right, to make our, our actual cabbage rolls. And then the rest of the head, Sonny, if you would shred it, goes in the filling. Okay. So I'll thin leave shred? That. Please, a thin shred. Like slaw. Now, these take a while to really get tender. So I drop them in boiling salted water for about five, six minutes. You really, you know, the, there's nothing worse than making stuffed cabbage and it's not cooked enough. You really want to get this cooked. Was this a competition? Time. Well, oh, all right, but we're gonna have to we're gonna have to go over who who made the best one, Jeff. So, are you sure you wanna you wanna go over what you did? I'm not gonna point out mine. I'm checking. I know it's really mine's are the worst. So for the filling itself, I have here just sliced onions and mm. garlic, and to it I'm going to add ground cumin, some crushed coriander seeds. I love a little texture in yeah, the man. seeds. So um, some red pepper flakes. You could take them out if you don't want it to be spicy. And curry powder, I use sweet Ooh. curry powder. You could use spicy curry too, if you like that better. So here we have the coconut milk, tomatoes, and a little curry, just simmering away. And that's gonna be our little sauce. To that, I'm gonna add some chickpeas, just cooked, drained. I like to use the, the low sodium ones. I don't wanna add a lot of extra salt. And here I have that, throw it right in there. Yeah? Yeah. The rest of that cabbage just goes right in there. Those chickpeas are a great money saver as well. Mm -hmm. Inexpensive, great source of protein. Now the rest of that can of tomatoes I add over the cabbage along with some red wine vinegar. And you just need a little bit of kind of punchy acid in there. Your cabbages look great. Would you line them up for me? Yes. Jeffrey, I know you're wearing suede and it might splatter. You want a pair of, uh, do you, you want, want a spoon? Here? Yeah, no. just in two rows. And you see this filling? You literally just cook this on the stove until the cabbage and all the ingredients melt together. If it's a little dry ever, you can add some water, obviously. And then we just stuff them. Mm. Smells so good. A little salt in there. Cabbage needs salt. And then just for the finishing touch for the uh, filling, I just grate some ginger, skin and all, right in there and a cup of cooked rice. Okay. You don't have oh. to add that. You could add extra chickpeas and skip the rice. I like a little rice in there. I think Same. bring it together. A little starch, a little carb. Yeah. I mean, this is very low cost, but a lot of food. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like a lot of filling food too. So we're gonna bake these, 350, 20 minutes. You can, just until they're fork tender. You want that cabbage to be cooked, bottom line. Yeah. You know? It's really about oh, that. Sorry. Oh, wow. Look oh at my it. God, everybody's wow. at the oven. Don't take care really of you, Alex, that's what we do. I go to the oven, everybody takes a nap. <laughs> careful. Oh, be careful. Would you Watch close out. the oven for me? Thank you, love. I'll get it, Jeff. Hey, you just, just be careful with that outfit. It is nice to cover this when you cook it, right? And then, come on, aromatherapy. Are you ready? ready for this? I'm ready. We're ready. Oh, come on, Ooh, girl. They're so clumpy. Coconut milk is like magic. It, it really is. is. It's one of those things that, yeah. You just throw it in every, and you put coconut milk in it, it's like great. And it's not a heavy coconut no, flavor. it's not, yeah. it's not. Would you sprinkle cilantro on this? You know I will. That cilantro that's sunny, so expertly chopped, just oh, goes sure. on top. Yeah, I know, I like this is, you could get very Frenchy with this. All over your hands. <laughs> I wow. got cilantro. Wow. Dude, this is like, wrist. this is a vegetarian delight right here. That's that cilantro. Sure is. I got wow. heavy, heavy helping of my sprinkle. Oh, the uh, smell. It's beautiful, Alex, first of all. You oh, eat I'm with your so eyes, glad. that's beautiful. She's well, we're not skimping on camera. presentation or taste, are we? Not at all. Just the wallet. Very homey, too. Oh, it's heavy. <laughs> oh. I could see you making this German style. Girl. No? You got mm. Polish style, you do German style, you do Italian Thank style, you. you can do Asian style, you can do 
French style? Yeah, that's the thing. Okay, You really could take this in any number of directions. Everything is right about this dish. Uh-oh. Um, forget it. It doesn't cost money. It's just, it's what you want to eat. Oh, it's savory, it's, it's interesting. Nice. The acid from the tomato, it's fresh, it pops. And the cabbage is cooked just enough. It has a little bite on it, but you need that little bite because you want to remember you're eating vegetables here. The stuffing is sublime. Mm. Cilantro, who would have thought you'd put cilantro on a dish like this? This is everything you ever would want to eat in one bite.